Hi, my name is Dash and I'm platform evangelist here at StreamSets. In this demo video, I'm going to show you how to perform clickstream analysis on Amazon EMR, Redshift, and Elasticsearch using StreamSets DataOps platform. Okay, let's have a look at our pipeline. It's designed to ingest clickstream logs from S3, perform aggregate transformations, and store those in Redshift. Note that the raw logs are also sent directly to Elasticsearch for indexing, searching, and creating dashboards. And note that Elasticsearch destination can be configured to auto-create indexes. Similarly, you can have Redshift destination create tables automatically. And this pipeline is configured to run on Spark Execution Engine on Amazon EMR. Now let's run the pipeline in preview mode and see what the data looks like. Okay, so here's what our data looks like at the source and some of the transformations. One very important thing to note here is that in preview mode, it's only grabbing a very small subset of data. And this is a great way to know what the structure of the data is, as well as the data types of different attributes and some of the transformations that you may have in the pipeline. Now let's go ahead and run the pipeline and see what happens. As you can see, setting up the resources to run the pipeline on EMR. This may take a couple of minutes. There we go. As you can see, I've had the pipeline running for a while now. And you can look at all the metrics down here. Awesome. Now we're going to look at Elasticsearch and Redshift. Okay, so once I had the data flowing through in Elasticsearch, I created an index pattern for the index in Kibana and included all the attributes of the index. And we can look at the actual logs in discover mode. Then I created charts to visualize some of the data. For example, brand analysis, which shows number of events captured for each brand or products. Or client-wise analysis, which shows the total number of sessions for each client IP address. Then I created a dashboard to see everything in one place. For example, here we have session-wise analysis. Brand analysis down here. HTTP response analysis. Not surprising that most of the requests were successful. And events based on uh, IP addresses. And you can configure the dashboard to refresh every second, every minute, every hour, every day, weekly, and what have you. Okay, so now let's move on to Redshift. And here are the three tables that were created automatically when we ran the pipeline. These are the tables that store all the aggregations coming through. Now let's look at some data in Redshift. We can do that by clicking on preview data for each table. This is going to show us total number of sessions per IP address. And this is going to show us total number of views for a given session ID, URL, and action. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.